Mr. Noise here. It was Noise here. We know that, you f Now, this story starts when Mr. Noisy was asleep in bed. In his bedroom, in bed. In his house, in his bedroom, in bed. Which is on top of his bed. In his bedroom, in his house. Which is on top of his bedroom, in bed. He was snoring. In bed. In his bedroom. Then Mr. Noisy walked down the hill. The baker's shop. After weeks of prepared, I can finally own the world. I'd like a piece of meat. Mr. Baker trembled. Question, why take diet pills when you can enjoy AIDS? Definitely. But what? AIDS. I know. Said Mrs. Stone. Definitely. I know. But what? AIDS. Definitely. I know. But what? Mrs. Crum? He said. The following day, Mr. Noisy again went shopping down to... 24 hours later. I'd like a piece of... I'm sorry, uh, what did you say? Piece of... I'd like a loaf of piece of bread. The noisy shouted. Oh, 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 oh. Please. <laughs> Mrs. Crumb, putting her hand to her. I like piece of bread. Can't hear you. What? Can't hear you. What? Can't hear you. Sneeches. Get him! <laughs> Meanwhile, in a parallel universe. <laughs> you actually thought I was stealing your joke, weren't you, J-Man? Ah. Uh. Yes? 75 years later. We're always looking for new singers, and just now I heard a voice that made me tingle. The only one who sings opera around here is the pig, but he'd never leave the farm to join the opera. There are some very nice benefits to being an opera star. Opera stars get lots of stuff. Meat. <laughs> Peyton pretended not to notice. I'd like a piece of sass. Mr. Noisy shouted. Did he say something? Asked Mr. Bacon. I said I'd like a piece Roared Mr. Noisy. Uh, Mr. Bacon. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. <laughs> the Noisy gave up and went out and went home. I went to bed. I'm hungry. <laughs>